Hello, this is Juveria and you're watching Straight Up by edX Live. Two of the pre-university students petitioning in the hijab case in Karnataka have been sent back from the exam centers for refusing to remove their hijab. Alia Asadi and Resham, the petitioners in the hijab case that created a furor across the country, collected their hall tickets this morning on April 22 to set their pre-university final exam that began today in the state. However, after waiting until 10.45 a.m., these students were asked to leave the examination center by the exam in charge. The students refused to speak to media persons who were present at their exam center. On April 13, Alia had reached out to Karnataka's Chief Minister Basaraj Bombay, imploring him to allow students with hijab to write the crucial PU exams. You still have a chance to stop our future from getting ruined, she had tweeted. Two days before the exams began, Primary and Secondary Education Minister of Karnataka, B.C. Nagesh, had announced that students wearing the hijab will not be allowed to write the crucial exams. All students must follow rules on uniform. Hijab-clad students won't be allowed, he added. He had also said that invigilators will not be allowed to wear hijabs inside the exam centre. The Karnataka High Court decision was with regards to the students only, Although Nagesh said that educational institutions were enforcing the ban on teachers as well in support of the students. The Karnataka High Court in its judgment had concluded that the hijab was not an essential religious practice of the Islamic faith and therefore cannot be granted protection under Article 25 of the Indian Constitution. The judgment was challenged in the Supreme Court through a special leaf petition. However, the apex court had denied pleas for an urgent hearing by the petitioners stating that the hijab had nothing to do with the exams. That's all for today. Do let us know what you think of this development in the hijab controversy in the comments below. And subscribe to edX Live for more updates. Wear your masks, stay safe and we will catch you tomorrow.